welcome back. Today we start off in our backyard cabin. Find out about our plans to go for a paddle and what we did to modify our kayaks just so we could bring more gear and secure it to our vessels. Today we're going to talk about those things with hiking with Kathleen. Please join us. Good morning everyone, I'm Kathleen and today you're hiking with Kathleen. So just filling up from the uh, rain barrel and I'm going to give the garden a nice little soaking uh, because we've got temperatures that will be rising to about 31 degrees Celsius today and uh, as a result I want to make sure that the garden is well saturated because uh, as much as it's cloudy right now we have a, another dry day that's booked in. So, got to make sure my garden is going to be growing during this dry spell. These tomato plants are coming along really well. They are loving the heat we've been getting. Planted some marigolds, they seem to work out well attracting the insects that we need to keep these uh, tomato plants pollinated when their little flowers sprout. <laughs> because I have all this garden fabric, um, I got to sort of pinpoint where the water flows. I had a few questions last time about this composter. So each time I come out here I give it a spin, about five spins, that's what's recommended. And um, yeah, it turns out that all the kitchen waste that we put in there but every three or four days is when we add to it there's hardly anything in there it just breaks down really really fast because we have because uh, it's in a black container so the sun is really helping to heat it up inside I love it out here. In fact, you know, there are times when we'll come out here and, and sit in the evening after it's cooled down, but this morning's perfect because it hasn't started to become uh, rip roaring hot yet. Um, I looked at the, th uh, the weather network <clears throat> and it indicated it's about 17 degrees Celsius. So I opted to not go out hiking today. It's a Saturday. And I woke up a little bit early, or a little uh, on the late side. And so as a result, I know that the trails will be full of people. Um, I like to get out there at six or before seven anyway in the morning. So this way I can just sort of, uh, I've had my, my breakfast and my coffee. So I just have a chance to wake up out here and enjoy the sounds of nature. So I just finished opening up the windows 
and it's cool because <laughs> the you can hear the birds where they're right outside the window and unless there's a lot of movement because the windows are tinted they don't even know that I'm in here right now and uh, Shannon and I are expecting to get out and do some paddling this afternoon so we'll bring you along on that journey as well when we get out our kayaks we've actually just improvised and you saw that the kayak uh, pad eyes were added to both of our kayaks so that we could secure some things because we've only done one outing on them. The thing we added just yesterday is there's a storage area on the back of the kayak that has a really well-fitting um, uh, like rubber seal with the lid and in watching YouTube we saw what people have used to hold things that go into that because otherwise it's just empty space at the back of your canoe at the front of your canoe with some floaters so that it keeps your craft um, buoyant anyway uh, yesterday was June 11th and that was actually the first day we've been allowed to go back into retail outlets so Shannon went to a local hardware store and picked up a couple of pails that fit the right dimension so you'll see how that works because now we've got a place to put things we figure it'll probably be something like lunch because uh, the pail's not that big it's about nine inches across nine inches in height and uh, now that it's a waterproof area we figure we'll be able to throw a, like an ice pack in there some lunch cold beverages and uh, that way we can take them on our journey it's not likely that's where we would store things like cameras that are you know not well water uh, proof like our Canon camera that you're watching this on and it's just because it's not easy to get to it's behind the seat so uh, it would be good for lunch because then you're pulling your craft ashore and getting out and having the opportunity to take off the lid but uh, anyway <laughs> we'll see how all that goes too I'm not sure that we're going to actually set out to have lunch in it today but uh, we're going to go and give them a try and see how our improvising has worked out. So I hope you stay around for that. Okay, folks, we've made it to our paddling destination. <laughs> I've been told not to go that way because there's a steep drop off. There's falls behind me. <laughs> it's a dam, actually. Okay. Now, Shannon is scooting on ahead. We had a really um, easy time getting into these kayaks. Shannon has some new kayak, um, a kayak rack, rack for her SUV. So we had a chance to use that simply because I don't mind using my truck, but I have to empty out the bed and I have some bins back there so things don't get wet during rains and stuff like that. So anyway, we're really looking forward to this. Glad you're able to join us. goodness there's turtles on these logs right in front of us right at the nose of the canoe is the turtle Thank you. 
use those people to so figure out anything that's going to be sitting on rocks will be gone because they're just following along on land. Yes. <laughs> they just seem to be going faster as I was paddling like right across over there. <laughs> I guess we look like an animal that belongs in the water when you come across on a, on a kayak. Do you see that turtle? There was one here that allowed me to get within inches of it. That was a green frog. Sounds like a banjo string. And so one recall, <laughs> calling it on the other side. I see another turtle across the way. <laughs> There's something just swimming right in here. Up against the log. It's a big fish. Oh my gosh. Look at that big fish. Or a big fish mouth. Big fish mouth right up ahead of us. I'm glad you suggested coming here. Thank you. 
can see, we had a chance to see a close-up of a gypsy moth caterpillar in our last video. And this one is a little tree that's being ravaged by gypsy moth caterpillars. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. And I'm looking straight up in the little tree and there's all kinds of caterpillars up there too. So you see this is one that has fallen into the water. Whoops. This is a gypsy moth caterpillar in the water. You always have to be careful. You check your vehicles when you're going places so that you're not transporting these animals back to your home where if it's one that's about to, uh, you know, maybe pupate, you don't want it to set up camp on your tree and have eggs. So that's how they get moved around. It may seem harsh, but I'm not going to rescue this one. boy. Jeez. Okay. So if you look at the trunk, I'm going to try and not get too close. The trunk of this tree <clears throat> is full of gypsy moth caterpillars. Yeah. So I'm going to move away from here. I don't want them to <laughs> latch onto the kayak. Oh boy. Yeah. Break time, honey bun. You're refueling, aren't you? <laughs> this is nice. I like it when it's nice and calm. No motorboats to worry about the wake. There is wildlife. Yep. giving you a lay of the land so you can see how handy it is having those pad eyes so that they allow us to use carabiners to hold things securely in place so they don't keep moving around and that's including my water bottle so I keep it right there between my legs and this of course is the safety uh, latch that is for the, the paddle so it doesn't get away on me so yeah
makes me feel a lot more organized. Now, what I might end up using this one for is to put my water bottle, but I would need to have a bungee to hold it to that. Right now, it's a good place for me to just store my, uh, my rope. So we've got a bird watcher here. See, a uh, bird watcher bill. Nice. Look at that thing. What are you doing with that? It's a, it's a video. Is it really? It's recording you bird watching. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those guys sail over the water. Yeah. Oh, haven't they got a lovely day? So we're out here doing a little bird watching. And uh, that's a few days, I guess, before Father's Day. So it's kind of like a Father's Day bird watching. Yeah, day. Right? I'm looking at the father bird. <laughs> well, or at the father who's looking at the birds, right? Yeah. Oh, there's lots of birds. No, but I'm lots of good over. targets. I see some rocks here. I thought it was rear end. It's a rock on the other side.